Every home game's an occasion here in Orlando. And as they came in earlier, the Magic were dressed for what they hope is a special night for them and their fans. Hi everyone, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Well, thank you, Kevin. We all know Joel Embiid's incredible blend of size, strength, and skill. He says, whenever I want, I'm able to be Shaq. And I'm also able to be Dirk, Kobe, or MJ, or any guard, really. Just a combination of everything offensively. Kevin, whether it's shooting off the dribble or pulling up or ball handling, he does it all well. He does indeed. David, thanks. Can you believe it? Already, Clark, there's some trade chatter out there. And we've only played a handful of games. Yeah, you know, Kevin, sometimes people want instant oatmeal. Sometimes you got to put that thing in the pot and stir it up for a little while. Social media has really ramped up the pace and size of expectations for players, coaches, front offices, and fans. Everybody's getting scrutinized because of social media. Pipe down, folks. Pipe down. Look at the 76ers starting group. Harrison and Bede are manning the post position. Tyrese Maxey out there with Harden. And it's Fievel in a... The three. And for Orlando, Harris is the shooting guard. Wagner is the small folk. And Carroll out there with Bamba. And it's Fultz in at the point guard. Maxey connects from three-point range. Maxey's got the opening field goal of the game for the 76ers. Here's Fultz. Now, Bamba. Back to Fultz. Bamba setting the pick for Fultz. 13 feet away. That shot, no good. And Philadelphia the other way now. Maxi passes to Harden. Embiid with a screen on Fultz. Harden finds Embiid. Side, Maxi, shot clock at five. A three-pointer off the mark. Then Carroll gives his defaults. First quarter just over a minute play. Top bomba, guarded by Harris. And Wagner has it in the corner. There's the triple. Rebound by the 76ers. Last game matched up with the Magic. Tough loss there. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. And, you know, that's all about effort, and I'm sure their coach let them have it for the lack thereof. And here's Fultz. James Harden getting it to go from deep. And there's the call on Matisse Thibel. That is his first foul of the game. the Magic with the ball. Still without a basket in the game. Bamba setting the pick for Fultz. Inside. Bamba kicks to Wagner. Find the shoot. A pointer. He's now one for two with that bucket. Wagner with the right back. That's your answer on the three. Pretty impressive right there. This is it to Bamba. Right wing. Here's Embiid. No one near Maxi as he lets it fall. Moves back up. Embiid, no good. Lando's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's Fultz. This game he had 13. And here is Papa. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. And one on MB. After a relatively slow start to his career, Mo Bamba has seen increased playing time. Finally getting the opportunity to show why he was drafted sixth overall in 2018. The Magic shooting their first free throws here for the night. And their success rate on the season, right around 77%. You know, their percentage has dropped off just a little bit compared to last year, guys. But it's not a huge drop-off, so no major concern. No good on the free throw. And for Bamba, 
his shot blocking and ability to space the floor really stood out. And Greg, that's a very valuable and unique combination. I mean, this guy has a 7'10 wingspan, covers a lot of ground defensively, moves his feet well, has a nice stroke. And at his height, he's able to get a lot of clean looks from beyond the arc. Clark, has in the Magic had some of the worst injury luck in this NBA the last couple seasons? Certainly have, Kevin. And this is a team that has been trying to develop young players. And they've been somewhat stifled because of injuries. And I think the best way to grow is through young players. And you've got to give them reps, playing games. So it's been frustrating for Orlando to have these outstanding young talents be thwarted by industry. Now here is Harris, following the missed shot by Tobias Harris. Harris, no good. And so Harden will bring it up for the 76ers. Freibold, the pass to Embiid. 76ers moving the ball around. Another miss by Philadelphia. Where do you see him miss? Such an open look. Harris kicks to Ben Carroll. To the right wing. Fultz against Maxi from 15 feet away. Another miss by Orlando. You know, currently they're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. That one drops for Maxi's got five now. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Here's Fultz. Following the basket by Tyrese Maxey. Abner outside. And Zuko is coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And something about Franz Wagner, a, a model of consistency as soon as he came into the league. You know what you'll get from him every night. And with Wagner, he'll be a bigger part of this team as he grows. Kevin, and he'll be able to contribute without being a focal point. It has a game that can blend with any other group on the floor. As his confidence grows, he'll continue to make a larger impact. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Matisse Thibel. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Well, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Out to the right wing. There's MP. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. You know, we see MB operate a lot from the perimeter, but he is clearly at his best owning the paint. Now here's Fultz. No points in the game yet for him. Wagner passes to Fultz. Wagner is green on Hart. Fultz kicks to Van Carroll. With three, Harris. The rebound by Hart. For Orlando, they won their last contest that game against the 76ers. Pass to Tucker. Out left of the wing. With the step. Maxi. Stolen by Bamba. Harris, nothing it over. Here's Fultz. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And, you know, Fultz is a special guard. He's got a chance to be really, really good. Impressive strength, and he knows how to get up shots over tough defense. On Trez Harrell, he's checked in for Philadelphia. You know, one of the best sights from the NBA in my mind in 2022 We'll see Markel Fultz on the court again. It was a long road back from his torn ACL, not to mention the issues he had with the frozen shoulder early in his career. That free throw good from Fultz. And for a player who relies on quickness and mobility like Fultz, an 
ACL injury can be devastating. Well, trust me, I haven't had one, but I know enough guys who have, and it's a tough injury for any player to come back from a torn ACL. Markel had to work extremely hard every day for a year and a half. All credit to him for putting that kind of effort into his rehab so he can get back out on the court. Harden against Fultz. Bamba a screen on Harden. Here's Fultz. That shot missing. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Harden right side. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Gary Harris. Well, James Harden still a tremendous player. But now in his early 30s, some question, can he be the dominant MVP force we saw in Houston? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And Greg Harden in recent years dealing with hamstring injuries. Has he lost a step to age or injury? You know, probably a little of both. But we've seen players with a new diet or training regimen get back to peak production. Hopefully, he can as well. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Bible. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Harden against Fultz. Carter outside. Driving to the basket. And stolen by Harris. Maxi against Harris. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. There are many players with a quicker first step than Tyrese Maxey. And I love the way he uses it to his advantage, Greg. I mean, he's got an athletic advantage over most of the guys that are defending him. And he'll exploit it every chance he gets. But that quick first step and fearlessness, lethal combination. And he knocks down the first one. Hey, there's no denying the direction in Philly. They want to win now. The Sixers have an attitude coming from their front office that they want to get it done now, and I like seeing that. Isaac's checked in for Orlando. Anthony comes in for Harris. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And for the 76ers organization, the expectation is, of course, part of a championship. And that's where the expectation should be when you have a potential MVP in Joel Embiid. I mean, he's been an MVP candidate multiple seasons in a row. I think the Sixers should be thinking tight. Are you looking it over? And there's the pass to Harris. Hangs. And that's two points on the way. Boy, that's a nice touch from Harris right there, showing you exactly how under control he is close to the basket. Bolts the pass to corner. Outside Anthony. Like at six. On deep. The shot, no good. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. You know, that's just sloppy basketball giving away a possession. No real reason for that turnover. The Magic making a switch here. Agnes checked in, and then for Philadelphia. George Nian, he's checked in for Harris. DeAnthony Melton comes in for Maxi, and it's Shake Milton in for James Harden. Melton against Fultz. Third in rebound. Third in blocks. And they're ranked third in defensive field goal percentage. That means rim protection, hustle, and fight. And as you said, their rebounding numbers are among the best in the league. Greg, they work so hard inside. Success on the boards is an absolute priority for them. 
hit on the screen on Isaac. Niang, no good. The Magic trail by seven. Anthony looking it over. Takes it off the glass. Anthony's got a second bucket tonight. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. He lines up the alley -oop pass. Throws down the alley -oop slam. So cool, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive seat. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley -oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleep. Here's Anthony after the Sixers pick up two. And it's Melton with the rebound. The 76ers leading by seven. Here's Niang, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Harrell was screen on him. Melton with the ball, defended now by Bogner. Anthony against Melton. Anthony with it. And you can see his scoring totals. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. To the paint. That's good from Colt on the assist by Anthony. Colt has got five points so far. This guy's deceptively strong inside. Markel Colt. Not messing around. He doesn't care who's in front of him. Gets it to go. That one good for Melton. No defensive pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. Anthony kicks to Colt. Pass to Fultz. Tipped away. Now, here's Melton. Passes it to Tucker from downtown. It's hauled in by the Magic. They're coming off that win against Philadelphia. Yeah, and that one, they caused a lot of misfires with their intensity on the defensive end. And the hustle they showed on that end was, was infectious, contagious. I mean, their squad really got after it. And it's time for an injury report. And now David Aldridge has an update for us on Joel Embiid. That's the news, David. Kevin caught up with the head athletic trainer for the 76ers. He told me that it's a sprained knee. And while he is in extreme pain right now, he appears to have escaped without suffering any tears. Well, this is definitely unlucky and especially ready to start the season. The adjustments will be plentiful going forward. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. Hopefully everything works out for you. And so it's Anthony bringing it up to Orlando. It's a five-point game. Last time these two teams came together was also in this building. They were able to win it for the home fans. Well, they, they coasted to the win in that one. Was dominant in the rebound department. And, you know, one of the things about winning the physical battle like they did in that game gives you a lot of confidence going into the next meet. You know you can push this team around in the paint and win the physical battle. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Now, they've been so aggressive, going strong at the defense, looking to score off of that penetration. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too, thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. And free throw good from Colts. And for Orlando, it's been a tough decade. We would agree on that. And Greg, they've only won two playoff games since 2012. Well, they've only made the playoffs twice in that span as well. So they've got a lot of draft picks lined up in the next few years, and they need to make good on those high picks. The 76ers making a switch here. Korkmaz has checked in. And so Fultz nails them both. And some added toughness on the roster. Something Philly knew they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tucker and Anthony Melton will help them further this go round. To the middle. And Jimmy Shaw by Hoffman. Now, he doesn't rack up a lot of assists, but Isaac is a willing passer, and I think he's going to continue to grow in that area. Melton passes to Milton. And it's sent back by Isaac. 
executing to perfection right now offensively. I mean, in total safe. Good luck trying to stop him now. Melton against Fultz. Has the card. Plays it up. The and the magic lead by one. Carter did this against high-level college competition. Consistently showcased the ability to score efficiently. At the end of one, a closely congested game so far. Orlando out in front. 23 as they wrap up the first quarter in a 14-6 run. And after this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Game, how it's been going for the Magic. It's just a great job so far applying pressure defensively. The opposition is on their heels with the ball in their hand. Nightmarish clamps thus far. And you know, another thing that's been working for them tonight, scoring off turnovers, points off miscues. They've been converting any mistakes at the other end. Harris is the shooting guard. Wagner is the small forward. And Carroll up there with Jonathan Isaac. And it's Anthony in at the point guard position. That's the group starting the second quarter for the matchup. Here's Ben Carroll. Goes up and lays it easy. And easy. Carroll's got the lead up to three now for the matchup. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And he gets the whistle. And two free throws coming up. And it will be all defense for two Philadelphia shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. And, and how about as a group, 80% on Should the season, be. one of their best attributes. Guys, that says a lot about the poise of this team. I mean, they've been so calm, cool, and consistent at the strike this year. I mean, that's impressive. Free throw drops in there for Thibel. And Greg, we know at Washington, Thibel was the college defensive player of the year. Averaging three and a half steals in over two blocks a game. And per minute, not far off that pace in the pros. His opponent field goal percentage last season good for second best in the league. And you talk to the great ball handlers, and they say, Greg, that footwork is an underappreciated aspect of it. Why is it? It's like a dance. You're eluding the defender mostly with your feet. But the ball handling part is just making sure the ball comes along for the ride. Ball is not loose. Harris up top. He's covered by Isaac. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. And while Tobias is nice, he's never been an all-star. And that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. I'm sure he'll take the trade off. One false for well, I tell you what, you look at the youth of the Magic and the talent they have all throughout the roster, I think it's just a matter of time and seasoning before this team takes a really big jump forward. Maxie's checked in for the 76ers. And Harris drops them both. And you know, Clark, the Magic have collected their young talent in a number of ways. Yeah, I like the diversity of accumulation, if you will. They've traded for some. They've drafted most. They know when their timeline is. The Magic, I think, have done a really good job with their rebuild. The 76ers lead. The pass to Fiber. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Need to get off a shot. Here's Maxi. And the three off target. And even with good coverage defensively, that time he has confidence to drill the three. Anthony finds Wagner. Back to Anthony. Down low. 
Here's Ben Kim. It's hauled in by Harris. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. It's a missed opportunity. Now, Matt Chief. Seven points in the game. Harden outside. Three-pointer. That shot, no good. So Orlando will take it the other way. I'll be out to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Andre is checked in for Orlando. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Tucker's checked in. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. admire that outstanding block. Hey, we know every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. Here's Harden. Orlando trail again. Outside Anthony. Pass to Wagner. Now, here's Van Carroll. They need this one. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. An elite prospect with very few holes in his game. Van Carroll can score from all three levels. Makes plays for others. Terrific rebounder. And the list goes on and on. it up and this next one could give them the lead and he scouts had Dan Carroll is the safest pick in the draft uh, would you agree he and maybe Jabari Smith Jr. Uh, what separates Van Carroll a little he's an elite back to the basket score those guys have become increasingly harder to find and that one falls and that puts him up by one point and a big man who can do a little bit of everything Van Carroll's future is certainly bright it's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. That's the latest, David. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA, but on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. And it's Maxi with the ball for Philadelphia. Pass to Tucker. He kicks it to Harden. On the high post. And he hits the jump shot. Harden's got seven. You know, usually Harden is at the rim or behind the arc, but he's got that mid-range game in his bag, too. And now the first timeout called here for the Magic.
Detroit. Let's show you the list of the hottest shooting rookies in the NBA this year. Paolo Bancaro on top. And the numbers say it all. I mean, he's tremendously efficient at scoring the basketball around the rim. He, he's almost automatic. Yeah, excellent footwork he has. I mean, terrific in his shot selection for such a young player. He's dependable, coachable, steady. This kid's going to really go far. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And here is Anthony. Robert set the pick for Wagner. And the top by Bamba. Bamba showing you a sense for when to cut. Really well done. He's got agility and excellent size in the pick and roll. Here's the Tucker. Maxi with it, defended now by Wagner. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Franz Wagner. Yeah, good job to take it right at him. Yeah, really left him no choice there. He had the foul and he converted the easy bucket. Shoot two. Throw good, Maxi. Well, certainly Clark, the 76ers, the past few seasons, have given their fans plenty to feel good about. Yeah, and you know, those Philly fans are really hard to please. They have great expectations and knowledge to go along with it. Uh, but you're right. I mean, it's been much easier to look on the bright side in Philly recently. The talent and results have been trending up in recent years. And the Magic have been one of the league's worst offenses in recent years. In fact, it's been over a decade since they've been average in that regard. Drafting a ready-made weapon, Gonzalo Bancaro, uh, they hope can help them take a step in the right direction. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse for them. The pass to Harper. Let's it go with a three. Another this kind of Philadelphia. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. And that one's good. But... Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And Harden now, top of the key. And the shot is long. And you know what? He's just not in his hand. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him. But he has not been an asset for this team. And there's a call on Tobias Harris. That's his first foul. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for Muhammad Bamba. Here's Maxi. He's got nine. Harden with a screen on Harris. Kicks it out to Harden. Just five on the clock. From outside the arc, a three-pointer is right on target. Harden's got the game tied up here for Philadelphia. You know, everybody knows Harden is lights out from behind the arc, so if you're defending him, you've got to take that away. Pass to Bamba. Here's Ben Kim. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Harden with it. Ten points for him. Up it counts. Harden's got seven points here in this fourth. So far, Harden having his way on offense. The defense has to try something different. Now here's Anthony. Passes to Wagner. Baseline jumper. And he connects with the jumper. Wagner's got 11 points. Here's Harden. Pass to Fiber. Back to Harden. 
Boy, the slam from the beard elevated a little bit. James can go from zero to 100 pretty quick for a guy this size. Anthony against Harden. Under out John. That one, no good. Philadelphia's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Oxy passes to Tucker. Lee pass was put in just the right spot. And now a 4.76ers lead. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Wagner's checked in for Bamba. Carter comes in for Bancaro. And Markel Fultz is subbed in for Cole Anthony. And then for Philadelphia. George Niang, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. Jake Milton comes in for Matisse Thibault. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for James Harden. Here's Harris. Nine points last game. Wagner is green on Maxi. Harris kicks to Wagner. He dishes it to Fultz. Wagner with a screen for Fultz. And Divine Wagner gets it to him. And here it is for him. Well, I like watching Fultz work the pick and roll. And when you give him space to pass, he makes you pay. Here's Milton. He's defended by Wagner. And Wagner's got the ball here for the Orlando Magic. Trailing by two. Devon Wagner wasted no time making a splash in the league. Took home a Rookie of the Month award at the end of 2021. A really good start for him on his budding NBA career. And the pass to Milton. And drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. On the wing, Harris. He's covered by Max. Count it on the 76ers. He has been cut back down to two points on the basket from Wagner. Wagner's rookie of the month award was well earned, Clark. He is a hard working player. Yeah, I agree. He's earned and carved out a spot for this team already. And he's accomplished those feats quite quickly. I mean, Wagner has tremendous potential, I think, and a really bright future. He's a versatile player, a hard working guy. He's only going to get better. Carter with a screen on Melton. Bolts against Melton. Harris kicks to Wagner. Over Milton. No good off the back of the rim. The 76ers leading by four. Melton feeling it out a bit. Pass to Milton. To the wing right side. Maxi off target from outside. And even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. 
Fultz against Melton. The Anthony Melton picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before. Jonathan Isaac, he's checked in for the match. Then for the 76ers, Harrell comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Quirkmaz in for Maxi. Six on the shot clock. Fultz, no good. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game. Here. It's Carter, high post. To the inside. Here's Wagner. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Montrez here. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And he makes the first. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76 have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. Those free throws good from Bogner. They are perfect from the line in this quarter and need to stay aggressively in attack mode. They want to gain control of this game. 13 feet away. Carter pulls it in. Orlando's gone 0-2 from deep in the center. Harris, right side. 132 left in the first half of the game. Down low. Here's Carter. The basket good off the assist from Paul. Carter's got it all tied up now for Orlando. Boy, moving the ball with purpose there. Fultz has tremendous offensive potential, and we're seeing him put it all together now. Melton against Harris. Some solid defense from Harris. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Isaac finds Fultz. Inside, here's Wagner. And the shot goes down. Wagner's got six here in this quarter. Fultz knows it's his job to work the ball around and get his guys involved. He's a reliable and capable passer. Goes it up high. Stole away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. And here comes Harris. Leading the fast break. And the call will be against Harris. His third foul of the game. And already his third foul. It's got to be time to get him out of there probably until the third quarter. The 76ers trail. Melton passes to Harrell. Back to Melton. Fires for three. And it's Butler with the rebound. Butler's got four rebounds now tonight. Now Fultz. Seven points in the game. second attempt does not go in for it. And so it's Barnes Wagner making highlights for the Magic. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Joel, as you look at the game so far, how would you evaluate yourself? I think defensively I'm doing pretty good. Offensively I still got to work on a lot of stuff. But it's going well. I just got to calm down, slow down. Let the game come to me and we'll be all, all good. Hey, thanks for your time, man. See you in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily.
Hi folks, it's shaping up to be a good second half as we've seen the Orlando Magic trying to take control of this game. This is the kind of game that doesn't get decided until the 25th hour. Uh, Ernie, you know I have four degrees and there's only 24 hours in a day. Unless you think we're going to be here till 1 a.m. Shaq, he just means it's going to come down to the last second. Well, then say what you mean, Ernie. No need to be cryptic. Jeez. And a look back now at the first half, as the Sixers have a tight game on their hands. I hate to say it, the three ball just isn't doing it for them. They have to try something different. More movement, screens, drive to the bucket, layups, points in the paint. Something. Yeah, a lot of that. I mean, I agree with all that. Maybe be more disciplined when it comes to shot selection. And, and maybe I should be more disciplined and not interrupting you. That too. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. So on the floor for Philadelphia. On board is Fibo and Harris. Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Hero in the five roaming the bench. And that one's good, Wagner. I really like how Wagner is really going after it on offense. That's part of why he's hot right now. And here's Maxi. Harden outside. He scores a six bucket from the floor with that one. He shot the ball 11 times. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the 76ers. Atlanta will be traveling to face the next this game. That game is the first and last of their home season. Let's check in with our reporter, David Alder. Thanks very much. Orlando has a very young roster. Coach Jamal Mosley says, one thing I've said to them is, dominate the simple. The more we can keep it simple, the better we'll be. Not overthinking things, just playing off instincts and reaction. Kevin, back to you. The place to uh, start makes a lot of sense. David, thanks. He will not settle for a long jumper if he can get points inside. Hard will take any opening he can get. He exploits what the defense provides. Fultz, the pass to Wagner. Bamba setting the pitch with Wagner. No good from outside. And uh, the 76 is shooting about 42% so far. Passes it to Tucker. It is now to him. And this is it off the right side of the rim. Orlando, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. And Carroll, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And there's already a loyalty aspect to Van Curl's makeup, starting with the tribute to the city he grew up in. He literally takes Seattle everywhere he goes. You look at the tat on his right bicep. It has the Seattle skyline, Mount Rainier, the street he grew up on. In terms of his character, that indicates deep roots and a solid foundation he can build on. That free throw missing. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> <laughs> and the second free throw, good. Even with the miss, he got the big one there to put him in front. For Philadelphia, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Harden outside, on the way, Harris. Down to five on the shot clock for the lead. It's hauled in by the Magic. Andrews has got his fifth rebound in this one. Harris dishes to Fultz. Hagner outside. 
Back here is Rina Maxi. Harris' his shot is good. Harris has got his first two points. Harris, a decent ball handler, continues to work at improving that part of his game. That was his second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And a close game like this, you've got to dig deep and just find a way to make things happen. Here's Maxi. No oh, good with the triple. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. To the paint. It's tipped. It's stolen by Harris. Harris against Maxi. Harden outside. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers. Game changers, momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. No idea what they were thinking there defensively. I mean, that's a shot he makes off. Harden against Fultz. Harden kicks to Maxi. That's the Thibel. Six to shoot. Harden outside. From deep three-point range. And Carroll grabs the board. And Carroll's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Fultz. Nine points in the game so far. Bumper setting the pick for Bogner. Knocked away. And stolen by Thibel. And Gary Harris is going to pick up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. It's a really a tough break. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. And Orlando making a change here. Anthony's checked in. Outside, Maxi. Harden outside. To the tie. It's hauled in by the Magic. The game has been very close in a lot of areas. The rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Abner outside. Lock it four. Over Thibault. And it's Wagner missing. The 76ers trail by three. Maxi passes to Harden. The pass to Harris. Two points. That one goes. Harris has got eight. He does not lack for confidence. He should. And this guy is a dangerous scorer. And Carroll is screened for Fultz. Takes it from 10. Rejected by Harris. What a block from Harris. Terrific work there. Outside, Maxi. Pass to Harden. Here's the lock to the hoop. Tucker can't get it to go. And that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. And it's Van Carroll missing. Philadelphia's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. It's good. Nice touch there for Maxi. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over.
line changes. Agnes checked in for Muhammad Bamba. Carter comes in for Ben Carroll. And it's Jonathan Isaac in for Wagner. And the 76ers also making a change. Melton's checked in. Magic have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Got loose and stolen by Feibel. Up top, Melton. He has six. This is it to Tucker. Back to Melton. Five on the clock. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by the Magic. Rodgers got rebound number five here tonight. To the middle. Here's Anthony. The basket good off the assist from Colts. Colts has got his fifth assist in this one. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Five the pass to Harris. That's tipped. Fultz with the ball. And it's Harden picking him up. Anthony with it. He's got six. Back to Fultz. Pass to Carter. Not a piece of it. On the wing, Harden. Covered by Anthony. Harden dishes to Harris. And he gets it to go. Harris has got four points this quarter. And an important part of every team's game. But look at the hustle stats for the 76ers. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. The nation, they're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steel. And they've also not only created turnovers tonight, but converted on them. All game long, that strategy has been paying off. Freibold, the pass to Harden. Over Anthony. Harden, that's good. Harden's got 22 points. Well, he's just zoned in. In most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Anthony gets to go. Fultz against Melton. Over in the corner, Isaac. Carter outside. Shot clock at six. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Fultz, no good. 76ers have gone 7 to 15 from the field here in the third quarter. Now, here's Thibel. Harden the pass to Thibel. Here's the pass to Melton. Hands it from downtown. Now it's a four point 76ers lead. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass nicely. Anthony kicks to Fultz. On your passes to Fultz. Hey, I tell you what, I like the fact that Markel Fultz is not afraid of contact. He doesn't mind getting roughed up. Going up with the shot, he plays through that contact nicely. He's got free throw attempts number four and five here. And he's kept this percentage at a decent level, right around 74. You know, his free throw percentage has dropped this year. Shoot two. But not really enough to raise any red flags or become alarmed about it. The first one falls. And you know, when Fultz is healthy now, he's a valuable part of this rotation. We've seen him make big strides late. Harris has checked in for Cole Anthony. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. George Niang comes in for Tobias Harris. Korkmaz checked in for Matisse Theibel. And it's Jake Milton in for James Harden. And so Fultz nails them both. For Philadelphia, they've gone 8 of 16 in the third quarter to put their second half shooting percentage right at 50%. Pass to Milton. Over Fultz. That one doesn't go. 
And Orlando the other way. And Wendell Carter Jr., Craig, one of the better rebounders in the NBA. And Kevin, his numbers kind of sneak up on him. I mean, great job of clearing the pass and getting the break started. Still underrated as a rebounder, but is making a name for himself. Four on the clock. Here on the wing. Six the triple. And he's got 11 points. Boy, nice work by Harris that time. He's trying to find the best shot for his team, not necessarily for himself, yet. Passes it to Hill. It's Court Bonds on the arc. It's held in by Hills. It's 137 left to play in the third. And the last is good. Seems to have a knack for putting guys in their spots. His vision excellent. Now, Milton. He's been quiet so far. There's still no points in the game. There's court buys. Barry is the easy one. Good job there. Getting himself a little space on the inside. One oh six left in the third. Now here's Fultz. Guarded close. Over Milton. Fultz, no good. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. And here's Milton. Currently averaging almost six points a game. In the end. And it's Butler with the rebound. And it's Colts with the ball for the match. They lead by one. Harris kicks to Fultz. 26 seconds left in the third quarter. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this quarter. Man. Here's Melton. Nine points in the game so far. Releases. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Magic lead by one. 2K Sports, back in a moment from the Amway Center. And now we take a look back to Doc Rivers talking to his team from his huddle. Hey guys, we need a run right here. Come on now. You're right there. You're right there. All right. Let's go. And sensing the need to string together more baskets, Doc Rivers giving his team a little clip talk. Yeah, he, he's going after the momentum. I mean, Doc's seen an opportunity here for them to put their stamp on this game. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. In the post, it's Bancaro and Carter Jr. Harris on the wing. He's paired with Isaac. And it's Fultz in at the one. Fultz is out there for Orlando. Well, I tell you what, with Harden, sometimes it seems the more the defense bodies him up, the more determined and effective he is in scoring. Pass to Isaac. Over in the corner, Fultz. Jacks up a three. It's the three-point bomb. And the Magic lead by two. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. One minute now into this fourth quarter. And too much time in the lane. They do call for the three-seven violation. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but I don't like to see it when the game is this close. Some changes for Philadelphia. P.J. Tucker comes in for Montrez Harrell. And Matisse Thibel subbed in for Court Miles. Harris with it. Kicks it to Carter. Fultz looking around. Carter left side. Harris outside. Oh, the three. The rebound by Harden. Harden's got rebound number five here tonight. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. 
Now the pass to Thibel. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Jonathan Isaac. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Mantra. Well, you know, for me, when you can convert this many times in the paint, I think that's a sign that your offense is really in a healthy state. And also, they took advantage of their quickness, got inside and blew through the open lanes. Great job of attacking the paint. That free throw, no good. Orlando making some changes. Ahmed Baba, he's checked in for Carter. And Wagner subbed in for Isaac. Reed is checked in for Philadelphia. He hits the second from the line. Orlando with the ball. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Pass to Wagner. Set the pick for Wagner. Unloads for nine, and that one goes long. The 76ers trail. Now, here's Maxi. Thibel kicks to Harden. Now, here's Thibel. He's defended by Wagner. Just five to shoot. No question. Those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. They get the rebound. Nice shot there by Bamba. Bamba's got crazy length and impressive height, obviously, at north of seven feet. Helps him on that offensive board, but his tenacity, a big part of that, too. Now the feed to Hart. This is to Reed. Harden against Fultz. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist from Reed. Harden's got 12 points here in the second half. Orlando's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Fultz against Harden. Pass to Wagner. Just five on the clock. And stolen by Feibel. And Harden with the stop. Cutting into that deficit now. Well within striking distance. Boy, time to tighten it up on defense. A stop here would be huge. To Wagner. Back to Fultz. Wagner outside. Bamba setting the pick for Wagner. Four on the shot clock. From past the arc. Bamba's shot is off. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Maxi passes to Harden. Again, Philadelphia. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now if they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Knocks it loose. And so the ball is on the bottom. Gardner has a good lap. Daniel House has checked in for Reed. And it's the 76ers with the ball. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Now, here's Thibel. He's covered closely. Outside, Maxi. Shot clock at five. Takes the three. And Bamba pulls it down. Bamba's got seven rebounds in the game. To end the cold streak, he takes it up and wins it in. Bamba's got four points this quarter. 
Martin all quarter long. He can zero in and, and knocks down big shot after big shot here in the fourth. Here's the pass to Harris. It's deflected. And then Bontero turns it up. He can be a factor at the defensive end. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full of it. Pretty clear. It's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Here's Bamba. Softly drops in the board. And it's all about the release when you shoot. Maxi looking it over. Harden outside. Out to Harris. Here's Maxi. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. And the 76ers lead by six. And it's Fultz with the ball for the Orlando Magic. Over Harden. That one wide left. For Philadelphia, they've gone seven and nine from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. Fibel, the pass to Harden. Foul in the act of shooting gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Well, that's a winning basketball play right there. Hustle hard. And guys, James Harden continues to be one of the most dominant offensive forces. Kevin, I don't think there's any question about it. No matter what city is on the front of his jersey, as long as Harden is on the back of it, you can expect the ball to go through the twine and for him to drop dimes, too. He's clearly one of the best scorers of this generation by far. The throw good, James Harden. And with the internet and social media, players Clark have so much more ability to engage with the public and be heard. Is that important? Kevin, anytime you can empower folks to share their voice, their stories, and be authentic in their own way, I think that's a positive. Player empowerment is something that social media avails, not only to players, but I think to everybody. It doesn't just bring attention to the game, but also causes and commitments players have to their respective communities and issues that are going on in the world. So I think it can be far more good than bad when you think about the platform of social media. from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Jamal Mosley was saying to the team. He is not pleased. He told them they have to make a push right now. He said, look, we got to make a move or I've got to pull the plug. Pretty blunt stuff, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. The Magic trail by nine. Harris outside. Inside. Here's Bamba. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got four assists now tonight. Good position that time around the bucket. And when Bamba does that, he's hard to stop. Outside, Maxi. Harris, right side. Down to five on the shot clock. It's up a three. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. And the 76ers making a change here. It's a 
on this track now. Magic have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Stolen by Tucker. Hayden with it. Now guarded by Fultz. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. The Magic trail by seven. Pass to Bamba. Back to Fultz. Let's it go from deep, and Bamba with the basket on the assist from Fultz. Fultz has got six assists here tonight. Pass it to Fiber. Outside, Nancy. Over Harris. Nancy, no good. And it's Fultz with the ball for Orlando. Four-point game. I'm good. Gets to Fultz. Yeah, it's the Bamba. Like it sits. On deep. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. The 76ers leading by four. And there's the pass to Tucker. The Macchi. Bombo with the block. Macchi against Harris. And stolen by Feibel. Now Harris. Pass to Maxi. And here's Chuck. Here's Harden. Another miss. And they've really hit a rough patch here. And so Orlando again turning it over. The Magic making a switch here. On Hill's checked in. Sixers have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Feeds to Hart. Over Fultz. Another miss by Philadelphia. The Magic trail by four. Under on the wing. Back to Fultz. Under left side. Five to shoot. Bogner from the long range. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And that shot isn't the one they should be taking. Or they want to make this comeback happen. Let's find out the news on my George Hey, what's the update there? Hi, guys. The head of the trainer for the 76ers gave me the status. He said that he suffered a nasty bruise to the lower part of his back and that it's really stiffened up on him. While the season isn't very old, this is still distressing to hear, and somebody is going to have to put up flat, and he's out. Kevin got to it. Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know what uh, he's doing. Yeah, but when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. The first one drops, and that puts them up by five. If you want to know how clever Harden is as a player, just take a look at his one-on-one -on -one game, the way he can pretty much beat any defender. Quite impressive. And Trezrael, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. You know, important for him to come through at the line there. 
because yeah, they want to expand that even. Tom Cole hit the magic to stop the top at over. They're down by six. There's a minute 34 left to play here in the fourth. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth quarter. Here is a screen on Hart. Now, here's Wagner, defended by Feibel. Count it, and the 76ers lead is going to put down just four points with a bucket from Wagner. As the game gets tight break and the stakes rise, the knee guys were willing and able to step up. Here's Harden. Good on the seven foot. Harden's got 37. And you know the ball's going to Harden when the game's tight. Terrific. Delivering and producing down the stretch. Here's Walker. And James Scott. And the call. And the shot that sends him to the line. First At the line for Orlando. Take a break, take a break, two shots. He hits the first one, and that brings them within five. No denying, the future is certainly bright for Wagner. He's a superb scorer already, who also is growing as a passer. The free throws good from Wagner. The lead's not looking as comfortable after those free throws. Nice job. Harden against Fultz. The turnaround Jay. And it's Wagner with the rebound. And so it's Fultz who brings up the ball for Orlando. Trailing by Fultz. Now, oh, here's Wagner. Defended by Fagel. Wagner with it. In the corner of the trail. The magic again can't hit, and so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, you, you have to do that. Though. You can't just let them dribble the game. Exactly. I mean, you gotta stop the clock any way possible. And hope they alligate arm a few of those free throws.
And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Now a timeout called by Orlando. They trail by four. 20 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? They're trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. Yeah, and they need a hiccup fast. I mean, they'll be drawing up a quick hitter in the huddle here, no doubt. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for them. That's something that they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. Wagner on the wing, defended by Thibel. For three, Harris. So it's Philadelphia taking the W in a close one here. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much, James. You have seen every type of defense from opponents over the years. What do you enjoy about that back and forth challenge? Just every single game trying to figure out what they're doing and how can I uh, be aggressive and attack it. And I love playing a game of basketball. I love you know, being crafty and, and just trying to compete at a high level every single night. You know, It takes a lot, but I'm built for it and uh, I'm just continue to keep going. Well, you won the chess match tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. As we leave you with our new balance player of the game, James Harden.